With sheet pile gone, it was time to start removing gravel from the water. A long-necked excavator is well up to the task. Along the south side of the finger dock, work goes on. On the northern finger dock, or extension, the concrete is curing nicely. With its work on pile removal complete, it's time for the massive vibrating hammer and the crane that supported it to depart. There's evidence already of work on the internal structures of what will be the passenger terminal. In relatively fine weather, work is evident on almost every section of the dock. For the first time, this observer actually saw the grout mixers being readied for action. On a windy day, it can certainly be a dusty business, demanding a mask. Space is at a premium, meaning that things occasionally move. With concrete curing complete, the forms are beginning to come off the northern finger dock. And to achieve that task from the water, divers have arrived. Whilst nearby, the work of dredging the approach to the ramp continues. Marine construction and the commercial diving it often involves are equipment intensive. The work can be physically demanding and there's very seldom the opportunity to choose ideal conditions. At the other end of the site, the ductwork concreted recently looks good. Work on removing the forms from the concrete on the extension is going well. That's a good thing because the slabs that will lie atop the extension are arriving. The first six of 12 in total arrived on two flatbed trucks with a wide load escort. The slabs, weighing around 25,000 pounds each, required the services of a really capable mobile crane. Rigging loads as large as this demands enormous attention to detail and great care. Nothing about moving objects this large and heavy is done in a hurry. Ground guides assist a skilled crane operator to ensure that every slab travels a precise path and arrives in exactly the right location to await installation.
Work on preparing the northern finger dock continues even as the slabs are unloaded and there's still plenty of work remaining for the dive crew. As family day approached Things were looking very good on the northern finger dock. Another impressive delivery was made to the dock. These massive air handling units will become an important part of the infrastructure for the electrical supply for the new ferry. Once again, Expert crane operations ensured safe and entirely efficient unloading and placement. We'll close this update with a view of the Wolf Islander 3 departing Kingston for Wolf Island. Please bear in mind that if you enjoy these updates and you find them useful, you can always subscribe, but if you're not ready to do so, please at least hit the like button. Thanks for watching.